Hey Glenn Babe, Xtina here with XMHBD.com and today we're going to be doing the 10 minute quick pop makeup routine on one of my favorite gals on the planet, Dr. Lauren Moffat. We're going to take you from her beginning look all the way up to here. So let's get started with foundation. If you don't know your foundation shade, you can reach out to us at our homepage at XMHBD.com and we will certainly match you up with foundation. Today, Dr. Lauren is in foundation N10, but before we got started, I noticed that she had a little bit of dehydration in the skin, so I hit her up with some of the Glow Phytoactive Conditioning Oil, which is a really lightweight oil, and it's great for just doing a quick um, rehydration of the skin before applying any foundation. That way, you don't end up seeing like the texture in your skin from just a foundation without hydration. All right, so going into foundation application, just some pro tips for you. It's best to start your foundation application in the T-zone of your face, meaning forehead, nose, and chin, and cheeks, and then work your way with the end of the blender babe out towards the hairline. This does a couple things for you. It's gonna minimize having like that masky effect to your skin. Um, so it doesn't look like a really hard line where maybe your jawline meets your neck. And then also if you're someone who wears your hair natural um, or in braids or something that you don't want to have a bunch of foundation in your hairline, this is going to minimize how much foundation ends up in the hairline. So again, you're focusing your foundation application from the center of the face and then blending outward. Okay, let's move into our next step, which is our concealer. You wanna grab the concealer shade that's closest to the color of your cheek. So in Dr. Lauren, that shade is gonna be pretty much like the medium color of concealer in her trio from XMH Beauty. Our goal here is that we're really just doing a quick makeup application, which is suitable for doing like Zoom meetings or in-person meetings, and so, it's not a really heavy duty makeup application. It's literally just, we want to even skin tone with foundation and then brighten the eyes. So our application of concealer here is using the medium tone of concealer and just really brightening the under eyes first. Now we're gonna be doing a eye look and you wanna have the lightest shade of concealer or the XMH Beauty Eye Primer in Chocolate available for you to apply on the eyelid. This does a couple things. One, it's going to even out the color of the eyelid, brighten it up a little bit, which magnetizes people to make more solid eye contact with you. And it helps your eye makeup to stay in place throughout the entire day, especially under hot lighting, or if you're doing a presentation on a topic that might be new to you, or you don't really like being the center of attention and you know that you might sweat or be nervous. So definitely prime your eyelids. Taking the XMH Beauty Blender Babe, I would say go ahead and hit any sharp lines that are left from where your concealer touched the base or foundation of your skin and soften those out before you move into setting your makeup with XMH Beauty's Dual Press Powder. And Dr. Lauren is in shade N10 for her powder. And the brush that I'm using for this is the Jumbo Powder Brush. For those of you who do not like to overpowder and you just want just enough powder to set your makeup, this is a great brush. However, if you're someone who has oily skin or you feel like your makeup does not stay in place well, you may want to switch tools and go into the XMH Beauty Buffer Brush. I tend to use a pat press motion Anytime that I have a client that either has an oily skin type or they're going to be on camera because it really helps to mattify and keep makeup in place under hot lighting or ring lights. Super helpful. Okay, now moving into the under eye, I notice that I'm using kind of a pat motion with my fingertip because before you set the under eye with any kind of powder, you want to make sure that there's no creases in that concealer. Now, I've also switched tools. In the under eye, I'm actually setting that zone with butterscotch from the XMHBeauty.com contour palette. This would be considered a highlight for Dr. Lauren because the shade butterscotch is lighter than the skin on her cheek. It's located in the bottom left of that contour palette. 
and also in setting the upper lid space notice that I also went through made sure that there was no creases there and in the eyelid I'm actually using butterscotch mixed with vanilla both are highlight powders from the contour palettes and they would both be considered a highlight for Dr. Lauren because they classify as lighter than the skin on her cheek. Now adding a little bit of dimension, I do want to add some contour color in the crease of her eye. So we're going in with the fluffy crease brush from XMHBD.com and a little bit of the chocolate contour powder from the contour palette. It's a quick and easy deal, pretty much just a back and forth motion, concentrating in the crease and blending out. Shouldn't take you more than about 60 seconds to do total time. All right, let's finish it out with the detail work. Right now we're going in with the XMH Beauty Brow Aligner Expert Brush. We're going in and first grooming the brow by brushing up and away towards her ear and then filling in the natural shape of the brow using the chocolate contour powder from the XMHBeauty.com contour palette and tiny little brush strokes that look like lippets of hair and then combing through for an extremely natural brow. We have double duty. Pretty great thing about this contour palette is that that same chocolate tonality that we used to do Lauren's brows her dimension in the crease of her eye. We're also using that exact same color to contour underneath the jawline and the rest of the face. So switching brushes, currently in my hand is the Contour Blush Brush from XMH Beauty, and I'm utilizing it to place Dr. Lauren's contour both underneath the jawline, in the hollows of the cheek, and in just a moment, the nose. But you'll notice we're switching brushes for this move because we want more precision and accuracy in sculpting. So the brush in my hand is called the Color Wash Genius Brush, which is typically used for creating really beautiful blends in the eye, but is a perfect tool for contouring the nose. So once you've got your contour placed, make sure and blend appropriately. Anything extra that's left on the brush, you can do a very subtle forehead contour. And now we're gonna move into highlight. So one of, I guess, the questions that people have when they're in an N10 is they say, well, I can't really see my contour when I contour with chocolate. So they end up trying to pack on more chocolate, but it's erroneous. What you're actually wanting to do is focus on your highlight because that's going to give you more massive impact than using more contour. It's really about creating contrast and the contrast is going to be greater by using a highlighter than trying to overuse chocolate from the contour palette. So definitely check out Glenn Babelite Trainings plus Confidence on Command for placement of these, but just know that highlighter is your BFF if you are in N10. Again, revisiting tools, appropriate highlighters would be Glorified Sugar, or what I'm doing right now in Dr. Lauren's cheeks is I've mixed the bronze shimmer plus butterscotch and I'm buffing that in as a highlighter. Now you're noticing that I've got the buffer brush from XMH Beauty. Definitely don't skip this move. This is one of your finishing touches. You wanna really buff in your highlighters into the surrounding skin and really marry them in with your base so that on camera and in person, your highlighter just looks really glowy fresh, dewy, and realistic versus looking like, you know, like a headlight. <laughs> so take your time and buff it in. <laughs> All right, finishing moves, lips and lashes. So we've got a duo from XMHBD.com. I started with the lash primer, which makes every single lash longer and thicker in diameter. And then I'm popping on the water resistant mascara from Glow Skin Beauty available on XMHBD.com and paying attention to both top and bottom lashes for maximum impact on camera. Lip wise, we are going for more of a nude lip on Dr. Lauren, which for her is going to be Justice Matte. It's a long wear, stays on so well, especially if you're giving a talk, it's not gonna end up on your teeth, if you're going out for dinner, not on your glass, it's amazing. And you can leave it as is, or I prefer to pop in just a little bit of dimension by utilizing a secondary matte shade that's a little bit lighter in color. 
I went with Babe, which is XMH Beauty's top seller across the board, 100% from our new collection. So Justice and Babe for a little bit of dimension in the lippy and finishing out with a bit of eyeliner. Major pro tip, we're going in with the XMH Beauty Black Water Resistant Mechanical Liner and making the lashes look thicker by depositing the liner and then smoking out the line using a precision crease brush. You're gonna see in a second, it actually looks very, very natural and just makes your lashes look fuller. Pretty cool, right? All right, make sure that everything looks great, no shiny spots on camera, and you, my friend, are ready inside 10 minutes or less to do your Zoom calls, your video chats, your client meetings, in-person meetings, and not only does it show up great on video, but this is how it photographs. So super clean and beautiful. But I know we need options because women, you know, we love our options. Taking that super clean and corporate look from day to evening is just going to take a couple tools. To remove high pigment lip color, you need to have on hand Glow Essential Cleansing Oil. Once you've got your lippy removed, go back in and reset or reprime the lip area using your foundation. You'll want to highlight the cupid's bow and grab your dual press powder to mattify and reset the surrounding skin around your lip color so that your application stays on really, really well. Going in with one of my super faves, this color looks awesome on everyone. It's a dramatic blue-based red, so flattering, called Virago. Photographs, so pretty, also comes across super fun and sexy on camera. So these are two of my favorite looks for Dr. Lauren, who is beautiful with or without makeup, but you know, when it's time to turn it on, that's what we do. All right, Lamb Babes, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this tutorial really elevates your makeup game for all of your in-person and on-camera client interactions. If you need any help, reach out to us at xmhbd.com.